Hello Internet, I am Fireball and welcome to Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This is a bit of a weird one because there's not really a huge amount of Star Wars games that give you this much power. I, I had a PS2 game of Episode 3 but on the bits where you weren't actually doing lightsaber and lightsaber fights it was a bit crap. Uh, but I do quite like this one because it's just fun flinging people about with force powers. I'm going to create a new game because the opening's really quite fun, I find. Empty slot, and I'm going to be... I'm not Sith Master, but I'll be a Sith Warrior, normal. This is set between... Oh, I'll have to cut this. I can't skip it. Oh, that's always fun. Okay, I'll do my own version over this, because I'm going to have to mute the game audio here because the music's playing. Basically, Darth Vader's gone to fuck up a bunch of planets, and we're still killing Jedi that have just sort of escaped. You know how at the end of the third movie, people get killed. I mean, if you've watched the fourth movie, you kind of get that, I guess. But, um, well, technically first, but we'll get, I count it in the order that it's episodically Chronologically, there we go. That is too many whys. <laughs> well, I'm playing as a... I'm playing, first of all, as Darth Vader, going to Kashyyyk, and then you play as... Well, we'll get into it. I imagine I'll get to what you play as for most of the story. I might have to turn the music off, which would be really annoying, because Star Wars music's kind of badass, and that kind of adds to the feeling bit all. And the graphics are a little bit old sort of see that they were doing more concept art in the background there but I still it, it's about gameplay it does get a little bit repetitive in places there was also a second one that was less repetitive but it was very short as well so uh it's meant to be the badass bit but I can't play that music probably if you're hearing badass music right now or if you play if you're hearing silly music right now then that's based on whether or not We've decided that we're going to play Star Wars music. Great. Very much forgotten how to play this, so I hope it tutorializes some of the things. Okay, so this is basically... It is the tutorial mission, because you're really overpowered. You basically can't be killed, as far as I can tell. And the Wookiees kind of fall apart like crisps. And also, you can throw your own guys around at your enemies, because you Darth fucking Vader. They won't turn on you. Just gonna choke my own guy, throw him over there. You're all useless. You get to survive because you're. They still can't aim in this world either. Force push that guy. Force push that guy. There we go. A Wookie. And then you can break down bigger things if you hold up a force push. I'm sorry. This is gonna just be really annoying to edit otherwise. Sorry, no music. I'll put over some other dramatic music. You have something going on in the background. But now you can just hear all the Wookiees scream with no background music. Ooh, there's some big Wookiees over here, but they still won't touch me. I can also just slash them down like that. Because, yeah, Darth Vader and all. Fuck off, you prick. Oh, he died. Like, because you're quite overpowered in this already, like, you automatically just deflect their bolts back at them anyway, so... Like, they can't kill you by firing at you. Dead? I didn't even have to do anything. See, the game's just playing itself now. You do have to do a little bit in the sort of boss fight of this area, I think. Most of the levels have a sort of boss fight where you have a proper lightsaber fight, but um, those are the only really b bits in this. That's the only bit in this level where you have to actually try and think. I'm just killing my own guys now as well, because, you know, I've had enough of this empire. Ooh, you tried to sneak up behind me. You get choked for that. Push you over there, fuck off, fuck off over there. Oh, are you trying to attack me? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, my hand slipped. Oh, and fuck you. Could you imagine if you were... I mean, this is hypothetical, obviously. Could you imagine if you were a Sith? Like, you could just, like, slip your hand, and then suddenly you've killed your parents. Oh, whoops. You're just trying to, like, put your hand up, and then suddenly dead in a wall blended into fine mush. Why do they even bother with defensive if that's what happens to their bridge when I come along? 
I don't remember Darth Vader being this powerful in the original trilogy, but I do, I do quite enjoy that they've just made him ridiculously powerful for the tutorial, so you know what you're doing, first of all. It's, it's weird, because the, the Wii version of this, I would say, is kind of better in some ways, because um, there's a multiplayer in that, but there's no multiplayer in this one, which I was a bit disappointed about when I found out. Throw a boulder at that guy, and probably just push his... I'll just throw my guy. Ooh. Oh, you tried. Oh, yeah, if you haven't noticed yet. Green's your health. It seems to regenerate very quickly with Darth Vader. Probably not as quickly with the person that you're playing as for the rest of the story. And the blue bar is your force power, so you can't just constantly spam force pushes. But, again, this regenerates pretty quickly. And you'll see there when it actually runs out that the yellow bar, once it gets into yellow, is a lot slower to uh, replenish. Come on, choke. I'll just throw you into a wall, whatever. Oh, you're still alive. This is just sad now, mate. I'm just gonna end you. You can actually just, like, torture your enemies in this, which is horrific, but also fun. <laughs> oh, whoops, I pushed you in your friend's face, and oh, you know, oh no, family's dead. Go in that lift. Don't know how they got a lift inside a tree, but we won't question it. Ooh, I get to do. Uh, you don't see Darth Vader jump much. See, there's meant to be dramatic music going on, like incidental music, to say, oh, here's what's happening now. Oh, we can't go over this way, because, wow, suddenly a TIE fighter went through there. But, no, because copyright. See, sometimes I, I, I get copyright, but it's just really annoying for, like, doing anything. It is quite arcadey, where the enemies will just sort of fade away after a few seconds, so... If you're expecting like a realistic Star Wars universe, then I wouldn't bother. Quite enjoy the force powers. So you can just sort of push them here, because when they try and jump over, because apparently they have super jumping abilities. Not sure if that's ever canon, but are you trying to fire at me? Fuck you. There are quite a lot of them here. It's too bad. I'm a Sith Lord. Oh, I forgot. I can also throw my lightsaber like that. Fire that guy off a bridge. Throw that guy off a bridge uh, and slash these people up. Well, keep him coming. Send them to the slaughterhouse, I'll just get instantly. I'm not sure if they're infinitely spawning or they're just to put a lot of enemies in just to sort of. Oh, I've got a trophy. Is that because I've been here for so long just sort of sadistically killing Wookiees because I enjoy it? Get over there. Okay, you're just squatting in thin air, but okay. Ooh, I think we're coming up to, uh, because I think that's the sign of the rebellion. I think we're coming up to the boss fight at the end of this. Ooh. Feisty one. But I can just pick him up and throw him over there. I, wonder, I can't seem to choke him. He seems to be immune to that one. Uh, can I throw? Yeah, totally. I forget how you block. Oh, is it just R2? Yeah. Put him in a corner. Throw him over there. Okay, just hit an invisible wall. Oh, look at you trying to fight back. Don't you know <laughs> resistance is inevitable? Inevitable? No, futile. He tries to do force repulse. Oh, he is actually not bad. Okay, he's trying to bring down a TIE fighter. It isn't actually that bad. Oh, oh, fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, and then he d just has a magical force bubble because those exist. Throw him over there. And then there's a lot of quick time events in this as well, which... I mean, I'm not entirely sold on quick time events because sometimes it can just be a lazy way to say, well, you've done this action sequence now by just pressing a few buttons, which is annoying. Um... But I guess when it's integrated into the gameplay more, where it makes sense for that to, hap to be happening, rather than it's just an action sequence that they couldn't be bothered to make you actually fight yourself, then it's, it's just shit, really. Okay, here's the quick turn event. Get him over there, and now I guess lift him up. I mean, that's not the button for force choking, so I'm not sure why it's... Make me circle. Just throw him into a tree. I'm not sure why he isn't dead yet, because to be honest, he's not putting up much of a fight. 
But I guess when we do send Darth Vader to get him, he must be at least, you know, a challenge for stormtroopers. Oh, wait. I remember. Yeah, this thing. I'm not sure if any of this is canon, but it's kind of meant to be the story of the start of the rebellion properly. That wasn't just like people fighting back, like actually an organized group, I guess. I'm not sure why he decided to do that, but I've been killing loads of stormtroopers before, so. Oh, right, because he sensed the strength. Yeah, made sense. There is music in this section. I turned off the music, but I guess it still wants atmospheric music. He's got a kind of creepy way about him. He looks a bit like a serial killer, if I'm honest. Don't worry, it, it's, it's not stupid what happens. Well, it kind of is, but it's fun. I like this robot. Ah, master! Another excellent duel! Look, can get a bit annoying. By surprise, I haven't fought that training program in years. I thought you'd erased it. <sighs> I would hoped that using an older training module would catch you off guard and allow me to finally kill you. I mean, it's kind of fucked I'm up that Darth Vader programmed sure you'll keep trying yeah but do me a favor don't ambush me anything his old master into a robot trying to kill his apprentice but there's some fun plot twists where that character can just be disguised as anyone really is there a psychological profile in there too actually yes but it's restricted you don't need to know anything about my missions except where i'm going no i need to jump to nar Shadda. can you handle that nah Shit out. <laughs> oh, and there's all the usual skill tree and bollocks like that. But now, of course, since you are an apprentice, you don't have awesome power. Oh, you get to train here as well. Okay, shut up. Very simple. Uh, okay, well, don't say it like mastery of grip, but you can also throw like that. But also you see that just throwing something completely drained my force bar there. So you have to sort of get used to the power shift as that was only for a sort of tutorial thing. Wow, okay. I, I, the ragdoll physics make this just so much more fun, but the, I guess they're absolutely necessary. I'm very aware how to do that thing. Thank you though. According to Imperial records, Master Ron Kota was a respected general in the Clone Wars. He reminds me of that drunk from the Hunger Games. Seven. Excellent. <laughs> so he thinks Vader's coming. But someone the fuck is me. So he holds his lightsaber really weirdly, like behind him in a really uncomfortable looking position. But I'm. I guess, like, there must be a, a stance like that in real sword fighting. I don't know. You can also get, like, different lightsaber crystals and different outfits as well, but the red lightsaber is pretty good to start since you are a Sith. You can also just throw about random droids if you're a horrible monster. And windows are quite fun since most of the time you're on ships of some sort, so... Well, not most of the time, but a lot. Sometimes you'll be on ships of some sort, and then that's a fun thing to do. I wonder if I can pick up a TIE Fighter. Ooh, I think I can as well, if I can actually get it. Or just, you know, like, one person being thrown into it destroys it completely. So, you know, I think these are a bit fragile, you know. Just gonna borrow this for a sec. I, I get. I'm not sure what this is counting up for particularly, but I can't even throw my lightsaber right now. All I've got is force grip and throw and all your usual lightsaber stuff. Ah, there we go. Come on. There we go. And throw. There we go. And you get a force talent so from that. But since there are already start uh, stormtroopers here, because. Their militia are attacking various Imperial outposts around the place. They will actually start fighting each other. And also the stormtroopers seem to not like me very much because I'm actually on a secret missing, meaning that I have to kill people that are kind of meant to be on my side, but we'll just ignore that. Like, force users are quite powerful in the Star Wars universe, so it's kind of that it's a sort of three-sided battle where 
I'm my own side. Oh, and of course they have entire lifts here. Could they think that a Sith Lord is more important to hunt down than the Jedi? And weirdly, they're actually accurate when they're aiming at me. You do do a little bit of reflection, especially if you are blocking. I think you mainly have to block if you want to do that, and you're not nearly as accurate as Darth Vader. And the, the skills, they aren't like, um, I mean, there are some like power upgrades, but it's not like, oh, you'll increase the damage of this thing by 10%. But no, it's just sort of like, well, how badass do you want this skill to be? How much do you use it? There's like three levels to each one, but there's not like specific like, oh, well, it'll do this much damage because it's just being badass, not really a numbers game. There's still someone around here. I will find you. I heard you. Where the fuck are you? No idea where they are then. Don't particularly care over. But you can also use Force Script just to open doors like this. But I don't think many doors actually have this kind of lock on them. Just this one by the looks of things. Fuck droids. Oh, we need to kill all their batteries. Oh right, no, we just have to actually push through this door. Okay, they can just about see me through there. I can't seem to like do the hold force thing, so I just have to push. You can also just infinitely slice someone up if you fancy it. But they will eventually disappear, so maybe not infinitely. Ooh, what's on here? Nothing. You have to find like new lightsaber crystals if you do want to switch color. There was also something fun where I think like if you force grip someone, they might grab onto their friends. So you just got like two in one, or their friends might grab onto them. I'm not sure what it was. But there, I just got some force points. Oh, these guys have got special batons. Which I think means... No, they're not immune to force things. They're just dicks. I think sometimes they can block you though. But I can't even use my lights in when it's like... I'm sorry, I was trying to do something. Fuck you. So rude. See there, he grabs onto his friend, even though he's dead. This is kind of horrific. Oh god. Oh, you can actually take out these if you want. Because they do fire at you. Bend the beams out here. So that they'll take out any TIE Fighters. Come on. Yes! Shite, shite, shite. Or you can just sort of wait for it to pass, I guess. Because there's still these militia pricks around. Oh shit. Double jump across here. You can just sort of let these guys fire out if you want. But I want to sort of even the odds a little bit, so... Let's kill some Stormtroopers and let's kill some of them as well. Oh, and I'm sorry, you're over there now. Oh, I'm sorry, did you think you could beat me? Let's see if I can actually deflect into him at all. Go on, close range, fire. Are you scared? No. No. Oh, you just fallen over. Wow, you are pathetic. Turns out I can't really deflect at you very well. I can just deflect away from me. Oh well. Off you go. And you can also open these glass doors like that. Not sure if that's actually glass. And then you get different force combos where you can do like that sort of thing. Which is always fun. But generally the best strategy is actually just to throw your enemy really hard against a wall or the ceiling. Because just force pushing them just sort of makes them lightly skid across the floor unless you push them off a bridge. What's that? Force talent sphere. You can also throw these little bombs back at them. Oh, you are a cop basket, aren't you? Oh, I've leveled up. Let's... Show off the force upgrades here. You'll also get to see there are some spoilers here for later skills. I think in the next level you get force lightning. But also, you get different skill levels for each sort of category. So you get combos here, powers here, which is just increasing how badass they are. I'll increase my force push power though. And then force talents. I guess that's more in the terms of like, oh, well, just increase it. I mean, there's not numbers there, but it's just sort of like, oh, you'll have more health or you'll regenerate this thing faster and blocks like that. Generally, I quite enjoy having more health. That's fortitude. And also for force focus is quite nice because that means that you can do force stuff for longer. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any combos I can get with Saber Sling. What's that? Oh, that's just three squares. That's simple. That just seems to happen by itself, really. Oh, you can also do like a... Oh, that. That. That's nice. Oh, that's what a saber sling is. I thought it just said square, square, square. 
I'm sorry, are you on a turret? I don't like turrets. A turret can fuck off. Ooh, you've actually done quite a bit of damage to me. But you regenerate ridiculously quickly once you've actually gotten out of a fight. Mm, no one's gonna come and help you, mate. Oh, you're still trying to fire at me. Bad mistake. You could have survived. I liked you. He <laughs> keeps stabbing you till you're definitely dead. Okay, there's still TIE fighters going around that could fire at me because they don't realise that I'm on their side. Because this is technically Vader's secret project. Uh, he hasn't told the Emperor about me. Uh, is it this lift? No, that's down. Okay, don't want to go down. Ah, this is the way. Oh, those are explosive. Okay. They're all kind of semi-explosive. Oh, I haven't got any force power left. Just deflect here. I'm not sure if they can actually, like, hit me with their guns. Wow. Well, into the abyss you go. Not sure why they're so focused. Okay, wow. Well, not sure why they're so focused on me when they should be focusing on each other. I mean, it might be because I have a lightsaber, which is kind of, you know, a bit of a game changer. You can just go up to someone and, like, slice them in two. See, they just do, like, weird pirouettes. It's kind of fun. Try to jump over. Let's get savory up and close. Ooh, I haven't got a lot of health left. You have to be actually kind of careful once you're not ridiculously overpowered. That definitely fuck you. Okay, there's more, there's more, there's more. Block, block, block. Oh, you're trying to bomb me. Bad move. Oh, and also when you kill people, you get little green orbs off of them that are made of health. Oh, there's more of them over here. Shit. Jump when they fire, because otherwise you'll die. There we go, dead. Oh, I can do it, like a secret super blast. But it kind of gets interrupted there. There we go. That's much better if you actually hold it down. But you need some space to charge it up. Prick. Still on your side. There's no one here. I've defeated them all for you. You're welcome. Just open that up because you can do that if it's not like a fortified door. Ooh, what's this thing in the middle? That is a damage increase. Get wrecked. Fuck you all. I mean, I don't think it really matters since these guys are still made of Chris, but yeah. It's a thought that counts. In a wall. In a different wall. Uh, where do you think you're going? You're gonna cling on to your dead friend. Oh, they've all faded away because no one likes you, prick. Oh, this is fun. So they come out with the big minigun guy. I mean, you can just sort of stand there and just go. Yeah, I'm just gonna deflect all of that. Kill these pricks. Explode that guy. But then also just throw them out into the vacuum space if you feel like it. There we go. Wow, you survived the vacuum space. I'm impressed, genuinely. Genuinely. Oh, I can't even speak today. Piss off. Oh, Jesus, two of them. Just piss off for a second. There you go. Do you like being stabbed? It's fun. Ooh, it looks like there's something in there. Oh, there's more here. Ooh, the laser gates are fun. Because you know what a laser gate can do? Fucking murder incinerate people? That's fun. Like, you don't even have to throw them particularly hard. Just instantly dead. Like, that one just walked into it. Seriously. Oh, just fuck off. There we go. Ooh, you actually tried to block stuff. Cheeky prick. Now you're in a wall. What's in here? Nothing. And that gets instantly incinerated as well. There's also... What happened if I touch it? No, I just get knocked back, because I'm awesome. Uh, there's also a battery here that I should probably take out now. Oh, and also, like, just open up a window. It's getting a bit stuffy in here, you know? Ah, uh, prick. Ooh. Double teaming me. How would you like to go through a window? And you can fuck off. Grab onto your mate. There we go. Through the window, both of you. Oh, you survived. Well, you didn't survive. Oh, you can fuck right off. Are you dead? No. Okay, well, you can fuck off. Stab them whilst they're down. Because they're prick. See, these guys can't even hit you whilst they're like that. They can just scream for them, my boots. 
We'll go into a ceiling. Oh, you survived for a little while. What's this in the corner? Health drain oil? Well, I don't think I need that anymore, but okay. Can I get through there? Don't think so. I don't think cover's gonna help you, but okay. Any of you still alive? Oh, you are. What a shame. Oh, there's guys up live up there. I guess I can just pull this out. There we go. Jump. Oh, shit. Hang on a sec. I'll be with you in a moment. There we go. Quick. No, oh, they're not over there. Go through this door. Oh, they're fighting each other. Ooh, fun. Nah. But I kind of hate these guys more than our ats. No, no, that's not an ATAT, that's an ATST. Uh, which is, I don't know. Armored sexy. No, that doesn't even work. All terrain sexy transport, okay. Ooh, you are a right prick. I don't remember them getting to throw stuff in the films. Ooh, can you throw those? Not sure how useful they'll be, but you can throw these. If you can actually get them out of their things. Oh, that did quite a lot of damage, didn't it? You can actually throw something heavy, then you got a lot of power on it. Well, that didn't work. Force pushing doesn't seem to work very much either. Just I should have left them alive longer so they could have dealt with it, but yeah. Just throwing stuff randomly at the walls now. Ooh, feisty prick. You can just stay in the air all the time then. Okay, here's a sort of brief quick time event that you get with these sort of mini bosses of uh, these sorts of armored transports, I think they're ATSCs, and um, rankers, there's other stuff as well, but I think those are the main ones. If you don't know what a ranker is, because you're not a nerd, it's that thing from the pit, you know, I'm not sure when it comes up, can't remember why it comes up. Not the Sarlacc, not the one that's like all tentacly, the sort of big troll-like one. Oh, big fight here as well. But no, no, HTSD, which is always fun. Always take out these pricks first, because they are utter pricks. Or have they got their own pricks? No, you just got a turret. I was thinking the Stormtroopers might have their own version of those pricks. They probably do later, but I can't remember. Unlimited energy! <laughs> yes, it's what the Earth needs. I just killed R2-D2. I hope you enjoyed your childhood whilst it lasted. Death to the Empire, which I was a part of and now I'm just getting infinite energy. Just a few more seconds, come on. Yes, 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 bitch, 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 in a warp. Jesus, did they just fall down the entire elevator? Prick, 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 I have no idea how that went, but okay, I'm now here. <laughs> oh shit, we're in the assembly thing which is always fun because they get to walk into the lasers which you can also incinerate yourself with another fun thing ah oh, there's too many of them to actually like use that properly oh fuck off oh they've gone all haywire now okay let's see if we can oh shit i'm just killing myself now fucking get in the wall fuck off pair of you let's go throw you all into this laser field I just piss off a lot of you. Because I can block way better than you can, mate. Oh, there's two of them on me. Oh, I get fucked. Oh, they can also get incinerated by those big generator things. Take the battery out. Not sure why. Oh, does that also take out. Yeah, that's that force field there, then. Seems to be getting more of them, so I should be getting close to where I need to be. Damage increase again. But that's kind of shit. You're a prick, aren't you? So you kind of have to use the right powers for the right enemies, because those guys can block saber attacks. I mean, they can't block them all, but then I think there are some later that can pretty much block every saber attack, and then there are some later that can pretty much block every force attack, so you have to just use the right combination. I think this is the last elevator before we get to the boss fight. I know. I'll see if there's... Yep, this is it. Because space stations are really weirdly built in the Star, Star Wars. I, I said I have no idea what I was saying. It's Star Wars universe. Months of attacking Imperial targets and Vader sends a boy to fight me? I'll show you what a boy can do. Prick. 
probably some Yoda quote about underestimating your enemy. But this guy can actually fight this a little bit. Oh, and he has the weird force bubble as well. Just throw him into a wall. See, you have to use mostly saber attacks on guys like this because they can block force attacks. Ah, oh, there's a force bubble again. Piss right off. Look. Shake. Ugh. Get to shit, bitch. Kind of seem to be a bit stuck there, but there we go. So you can never use force grip on that guy. No, you die too. <laughs> Fucking prick. So this guy is suicidal. Block. Christ's sake. Get out. Slice him up. Oh, I, I gripped him just for a bit there, but you can't really do that for long. Oh, I should use my force combos. There we go, that worked. Stab. Fuck you and your force bubbles. Oh shite. I'm not sure if there's an actual time limit on this bit, but I've not really ever encountered it. Just throw him out of all Okay, we are seriously burning up here. Should really not be on that bit of the ship. To be honest, it shouldn't really be on any of this, because it's all going to explode in a second. Shit, why are you standing there? Okay, quick time event now. Shite. I'm fucking terrible at quick time events. So just start it again, I guess. Sometimes I'll make you do part of the fight again. One. And. Ah, I'll do it itself now. Die! I, I would go to make sure he's dead, because, yeah, you just jumped down there and you were fine. <laughs> well, you did get a shit, but, you know. He is a Jedi Master, he's a bit weaselly, I guess. But that is the first level, I'm not going to do another one because I've been recording for quite a bit. Quite like this, I did. Like I was saying, it does get a bit repetitive because you do all, you go hunt down Jedi. This is a bit of spoiler for the story. You hunt down loads of Jedi, you then, like Darth Vader tells you, oh, we're going to take down the Emperor together. Surprise, surprise, he betrays you because he's still around after this so you know and then you go to each of the planets you were already at to go and recruit sort of people that you left behind you are generally trying to start a rebellion uh even though you were originally hunting down the jedi so it's a bit of a story of redemption i guess and the second one's really confusing because there's something about clones in it that i wasn't sure for half the game whether you were actually a clone but anyway, I'm in Fireball, and this has been Star Wars, the fun, the, the funnels unleashed, sure, the force unleashed, fuck's sake, bye. <laughs>